As we discussed, positive data are not useful for logic valid argumentation. Negative data could lead to a logical valid statement, but these data do not support our career. No real proof of the hypothesis is possible and we only end up with statistical probabilities. Hypothesis driven science has besides to describe the logical problems also conceptual problems. The hypothesis method can deal with simple correlations between A and B. But the method fails if the problem becomes more complex with many factors, for example A to E or even more. This is too complex for deducing an empirical consequence. A picture of the Japanese artist Hokusai provides us with a nice illustration of the problem of reductionism versus holism. One blind researcher is studying the back, another the neck. One blind researcher explores the tail. The next, the front path of the tooth and so on. Nobody gets the whole picture. Contemporary research has come to a point where we change the perspective from reduction to holism. The reductionistic approach has successfully identified many components and interactions, but does not provide convincing explanation for how a complex system, such a living being, work. Today, we are in the situation that we have huge amount of data from high throughput experiments, but we do not understand the whole picture. Huge amount of data and facts available means lesser need for models. The number speaks for itself. Holistic thinking means beginning with the understanding of the highest abstraction level. Our scientific approach should maybe do the same. First understand the whole picture, then the details. So we face the problem how to understand the whole picture. How to understand huge data amounts and complex systems. We can observe a paradigm change in science.